Hello fellow FPVers. I was trying yesterday to get my new Foxeer Arrow Micro version 2 work with camera control on a Betaflight Omnibus F3 Pro controller. But it didn't work. Trying to find out what's going on, I used my Hantec 2 channel oscilloscope and I connected the probe to the OSD control line going from the omnibus to the camera. It turns out that the voltage is not a DC voltage changing from 3.3 which is the idle voltage to about one and a half which is the voltage when you press the menu button instead we have the 3.3 DC voltage and uh, an alternating voltage which is fluctuating around the desired 1.45 volts this is a clear indication of the camera not having enough capacitance on the OSD control line. To try and solve the problem, I turned to an old PCB board, took one of those small capacitors off, attached it to two cables, which you can see or you cannot see, actually. It's this little guy here, soldered two cables on him and connected one end to the ground and we will now connect the second end to the OSD control and see what the oscilloscope shows now once we have added the capacitor we get the desired result. The OSD control line voltage drops from 3.3 down to about 1.45, 1.5 for a time span of 200 milliseconds. This is enough to trigger the Foxeer Arrow Micro V2 to go into the menu. Indeed the screen shows that the camera OSD has been entered correctly. What we need to do now is to find the proper position where conveniently we can solder this capacitor. I believe that a good spot will be from the motor output where the red wire is soldered on to the pin to its right which is ground. Let's try it out. This may not look very nice but to my excuse it's quite difficult soldering SMD components with a irregular soldering iron. However, the result is excellent and camera control using the Tyrannis is working as advertised. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.
time they want 